Get ready to build confidence, get stronger, and reach your goals. Hi and welcome. I am so excited to be here because you know we were not here last Saturday. So it is good to be back and it is good to see you and I am so happy we can kick some butt today. Uh, the computer is back, feeling better than ever. It's got a new hard drive in it, so it's feeling fresh and fine, I assume. But uh, anywho, let's get into our full body workout. You know, Saturday, all about full body workouts. We're going to get right into our warm up because this workout is like the working portion. It's close to 27 minutes, and you know, we are on a time crunch on Saturday <laughs> for the strength in the cycle. So I'm going to have uh, Jason behind the camera pointing to the watch. So we're going to get right into the warm up. And as we do the warm up, I will try my best to explain uh, everything we have going on. So let's warm up, starting with our upper body, and then we will work our way down. And I'm telling you what, my lats right now from the workouts this, this uh, well, that I just filmed for coming up next week. Oh, we got a new workout that I don't think we've done before. And uh, yeah, feeling good, feeling right. All right, we're gonna stretch. If anyone remembers that rhyme, now we get on the bike. <laughs> That was from such an old workout. Stretching side to side, really reach it over. And as you work into this stretch, take it down a little bit lower each time. Good. So for today's workout, six exercises, we repeat two times, work 45, rest 20, halfway in between, we'll get 45 seconds of rest. Last one here on this side. Good. From here, we're gonna take it, hold it across and back, open, same side. So really warm it up, stretching out the shoulder, opening and closing. Two more and then we're gonna switch. And last one, good, take it across. Hold it for a second, get a little twist here in so you're warming up the core, warming up the hips. Stella is looking, she is maximizing her, her rest in her new jumbo size chair. And last one, good. From here, toes out. Oh, apple, thank you. Yes, let's start our watches. All right, from here, we're gonna do a sumo squat wide, so hold it down and then back up. And down and up, hold it down, sink it down here. Good, hold it for just a couple seconds and then back up. Two more and then we're gonna hold it down and we're gonna get a little twist going on. Last one, so hold it here from here. Push out or push on the inside of your leg here, dropping one shoulder down towards the ground, opening up the hips and breathing, stretching out that lower back a little bit. Switch it over. Good, and switch. One more each side now. Good, last one. So from here, back up center. Now we're gonna hold on, stretching it out here for a second, and then we're gonna switch. Hold it, and one, good. Switch it out, holding it about five seconds, and down. Today's workout, the only thing you need as well will be your dumbbells, so we don't need bands, boxes, anything like that. And down, good. Don't lose the balance. I'm losing my balance. <laughs> oh, and please, if you are Team Climb, do not let my shirt scare you for uh, what we have coming up during cycling, but just giving everyone a warning with this now. <laughs> Good, now we're gonna do hip circles. So my, uh, my most awkward of exercises, taking it up and around here. Good, keeping your chest up. Two more on each side. Again, try not to fall over if you can. And one, good. Now we're gonna do side to side lunges. So taking your legs out pretty wide here, we're gonna sink it down and hold it for just a second and over. Again, we're gonna get right into this workout because if you are just coming in, today's working section is a little bit longer than usual. So Jason, I have given you the warning, okay? <laughs> We're gonna be working through it. And I think it was, well, I, I know it had to have been two weeks ago. Um, I said, we're gonna do one more on each side. I said, you know what, we need to start with abs one day. So we're gonna start with a little bit of ab work today. Just two exercises, good. Last one, 
So bring it up, feet together. Let's take a few stretches. Nice and tall, stand up on your toes. Back down. Two more, stand up nice and tall, reach for the sky and down. So warming up the calves, the back, everything here and down. All right, we're gonna get right into our first exercise. So we will meet on the mat. We will meet on the mat. We're gonna do a plank hip drop with a knee pull. So one side and then the other. So bring it out onto the mat. 45 seconds of work. Hopefully you have your watch started. You can modify down on your knee as well. But if not, on that forearm and up on your feet. So we're gonna do the hip drop and then the knee pull. So here we go, 45 seconds. Down, top knee pulls in, good. And down, and pull. Exhale with the pull. So modification, that bent knee, is, or the bottom knee is bent down below, and you're pulling. Just like that. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, we are feeling the core for sure. And squeeze, good, almost there. So we'll get 20 seconds to rest and then we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna work through those two sets. Last one, good. 20 seconds. So we're gonna work through um, the two sets right in a row. So we'll really work those muscles, then we'll get to move on and work again. It does feel weird starting out with abs though. Oh yeah, the workout's almost over. That's just, just beginning. <laughs> Bring it up, we gotta go again. Here we go, plank hip drop to knee pull. And down, squeeze, really drive your hips up. Think about contracting your obliques on this side. And then we pull. Thirty seconds. And we are mixing things up next week. We have legs and abs that's gonna come out on Tuesday. And then we have our upper, upper body workout on Thursday. And so you will see a couple of the same exercises that are gonna be coming up this next week. And that's just because we really need to work on, it's, it's a good thing to have some of the exercises the same from week to week to make sure you're really working those muscles and getting stronger in those areas. So you will notice that 20 seconds, just switching it over. Tell you what, this is getting my heart rate up though. I don't know about you, but know that I am burning right along with you. So same thing, if you're modified, that bottom knee is down, you're gonna lift, lower, and then pull. But if not, legs out on your forearm, 45 seconds, here we go. Hip drop and knee pull, good. and take it at your own pace. You may be going slower, you may be going faster. That is totally fine. And squeeze. Fifteen seconds. And you may find too that because we've worked our core, at the beginning of the workout, those muscles are already tired and those muscles are gonna work through the entire workout. So you may notice last one, some of the exercises are a little bit more challenging because our core and abs have already been worked. So mixing it up again, making your body work in a new way. <laughs> All right, breathing it out. We go in five seconds, so let's get back into position. And then we'll be done with abs from that. We're gonna bring it back up. Here we go. So we've got hip drop and pull. Awesome, drop it down. Really drive it up. Oh, I'm shaking. I want you to know that I am shaking with you right now. If you are shaking, we are, we are in this together. Good, 10 seconds. Last one for the pull and the drop, good. Oh, okay, bring it up to your feet. We're gonna work a drag curl next. Now we've done this, but it's been 
just a little bit of time since, we, since we've done it. So it's gonna work the biceps, but you're gonna think about dragging that weight next to your body right up into, right underneath your rib cage. So grab a heavy dumbbell, work in the biceps, maybe a little bit lighter than your usual bicep curls, but here we go. So arms are out, we drag the weight up and down. So just a, just a slight bend. So you wanna feel your arms coming right next to your body as you lift and lower. And then when you're at the top, squeeze the bicep. And down, good. Extend all the way to all the way back up until those dumbbells are touching right below your rib cage. Keep it close. Ten seconds. And squeeze. Good. So that's what you want to think. You want to think about dragging that weight up right next to you and then down. 20 seconds, we do that again. Whew, breathing. So really, when you get that weight up right here at the top, when you're hinged over, think about squeezing that bicep muscle, contract it, then control it down. Whew, so we've got two seconds. If you need to go heavier, grab it now. Timer is on, 45 seconds, here we go and squeeze. Good. So elbows going to that wall behind you. Squeeze and pull. Don't forget, exhale right here at the top of this motion. And then down. And squeeze, good. We're gonna bring it onto the mat for our next exercise. Oh my goodness, last one, squeeze it and control it down, nice job. All right, now onto the mat for Renegade Row. So that's gonna work core and back again. Arms are gonna be working too. And you can do this exercise without dumbbells as well. Just think about contracting your shoulder blade around your spine to work those back muscles. You can also do it on your knees or your toes, but getting into position, here we go. So for your stance, make sure your feet are wider than shoulder width to give you a solid base. Same thing with this exercise. Think about keeping that arm close to your body and then those dumbbells come right up to your rib cage. Good. Squeeze your glutes too. That's gonna help you keep that strong plank and that'll help you prevent you from lifting your hips up or dropping your hips down. So really think about squeezing and don't let your shoulders roll open. Eight seconds. Almost there. Squeeze and time. Ooh, press it back, stretch it out. One more time for that exercise. That is a challenging one. It's been quite a few workout since we've done that one. So it was about time. Eight seconds. If you can go up in weight, challenge yourself with a heavier dumbbell right now. Last time through for this one. So I know we've got cycling after, but don't leave anything here for strength. Here we go, 45 seconds. Squeeze. Remember, even if you don't have those dumbbells, make sure you're thinking about squeezing your shoulder blade around your spine as you pull up. Good, and if you do find that you're starting to roll open as you pull, drop your knees, keep your, your hips square, and then row. And if you still find that you're starting to open up, just do that without the dumbbell. So all sorts of modifications you can take, and if you need to take one of those, that's totally fine, because you're gonna get stronger if you're doing it with correct form. Almost there, and time. There we go, nice. Oh, breathe in. All right, it is time to work the lower body and we got a fun one to work the lower body. So if you do not wanna do lunges, we're gonna stay on the same side. So we're gonna work one side and then the other. If your left leg is lifting, your right arm is gonna press. This is if you don't wanna do the forward stepping lunge. So it'll be lift to press. If you're doing the lunge, we're gonna forward step, press and back. 
So join me now, here we go. Forward step and press, or you're doing that leg lift and then the press. And press, good. And up. Exhale with the press. Again, this is really challenging your core. Our core muscles are working big time with this workout today. Because we're working stabilization and balance with this one-sided movement. And back, almost there. And if you are just doing that front leg lift, really think about working the quad. That's why I'm having you do the front leg lift because we're focusing on the quad right now with this move. And back, nice, breathing. All right, going again in 15 seconds. Same thing, same side. So it's opposite leg to opposite arm that's lifting and pressing. If you can go heavier, go heavier. I'm gonna challenge myself and go a little bit heavier this time. So let's go for it. All right, 45 seconds, forward to press. Forward, press, good. And up. Exhale with the press. And up. Nice job. Now if you are going heavier the second time around, you may be moving a little bit slower through your set. Totally fine. You really have to stay focused when you're going heavier. And up. Less than 10 now, that's just a couple reps left. Press, good. Let's do one more. I know, the time's gonna be up, but we're gonna do it. Nice, okay. 20 seconds to rest. My mat isn't happy about this exercise, and that's okay. All right, we're gonna do that same thing, other side. So if you were just lifting your left leg, you're gonna be lifting the right leg, pressing with the left arm, or stepping forward with that opposite leg to arm. So, 45 seconds, here we go. Get into that lunge, then press, and back up. Good, press. I'm just gonna show you the modification here. So your leg lift, squeeze and contract to press. So that's it. And press, good. Live workouts don't have the modification window, so I'm just gonna show you in between. Good. Whew. Nice job, 15 seconds. Forward, hold it, and press. Good. Okay, I know, I know, let's do it, let's do it. I know, the time is up. Put our rest timer on, we're going for it though. All right, if you can adjust, if you adjusted for the other side for your dumbbell, make sure you're working each side evenly. So do that again if you need to. Oh, seven seconds. Getting ready, here we go. Press. You may notice one arm is uh, enjoying the press a little bit more than the other one, and I can tell you my other arm enjoyed the press. Good. Whew. And up. Keep your chest up, keep your core engaged. Good. Press it up. Keep your head up even while you're pressing. All right, one more. One more and this is it. And then we've got 45 seconds to rest. So 45 second rest is on. I only said it like 14 times. <laughs> I'm not listening to you right oh, now. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> There's some sort of motocross race going on, at least yesterday. I don't know if it's still on, but I know that he's uh, been entertained with that. <laughs> no, that's over now. Oh, it's, oh, okay, it's over. All right, no, I'm just teasing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna bring it back to the mat. We're gonna work chest. Well, we're gonna work chest and core and the arms a little bit because we are doing push-ups. So let's meet on the mat. You can collapse down on the mat as well for a little rest. That's what I feel like doing. All right, push up, knees, toes. If you're working for the toes, do a couple, get them in, 
and let's begin. 45 seconds. This is one of those exercises that is also in next week's workouts. Push through your heels, push that floor away. Core is engaged, keeping nice and strong. My arms are feeling it, I'm not gonna lie, from the workouts that you have coming next week. Exhale with the press up. We've got 10 seconds. Come on, make it count. Get them in. This is our last round. So don't leave anything here. Three, two, 20 seconds. Breathe it out, grab a drink, dry off if you need to. I need to dry off. Oh. All right. 10 seconds. We're going again for push-ups. Should I? I'm, I'm catching on. <laughs> Push-up time again. 45 seconds. Here we go. Jason, you're going to let people know how weird I am if you keep doing that camera switch on me. They already know. Good, push the floor away, keep that core engaged. Really think about squeezing your core and squeezing your glutes here. <sighs> 20 seconds. <sighs> I'm gonna challenge you right now. If you've been doing them on your toes, but you're, or if you've been doing them on your knees, but you're working for your toes, <sighs> come up on your toes right now and really push. Try to keep the best form you can. I know I'm making you dig right now. We're pushing. Whew. Last one. Okay. Excuse my heavy breathing. Excuse my noise making. This is all real. All right. We're working the chest a little bit again and the arms. We're working the lats because we are going to do pullovers. So you just need one dumbbell where we, this is where we lay on our back. We pull that dumbbell up. So grab a dumbbell for that. Make it heavy. Make it count. We've got 45 seconds. Here we go. Down. Control it nice and slow, and then pull back up. I feel like we should have called this one a core workout with a little bit of full body <laughs> bonus because this is working the core right now. So as you extend out, you can feel those core muscles stretching and then they contract to pull that weight back up. Good, and stopping it just about right at your chest. So you don't wanna pull the weight all the way forward here. You wanna make sure you stop it right about chest level and pull. This is gonna be the last one. Down, pull it up. Whew. Nice job. All right, 20 seconds. Just rest it out here, enjoying this break. 10 seconds we go. All right, bring it back up. We go in three, two, and here we go. Drop it down, keep those arms straight, and pull. You can feel this one in the triceps working too. And pay attention here too, when you are down at this point, make sure you're not letting your wrists fall back. So make sure your wrists are nice and straight as you bring that weight back and up. 15 seconds. That's just a couple more reps because this is a nice and slow rep that we're going through. And pull, last one, down, good, squeeze. Nice job, all right, 20 seconds. We're still hanging out here on the ground because we are doing glute bridge next. So one dumbbell right across, or you can do two right on your hips, whichever is gonna challenge you, whatever works best for you. So grab your dumbbells. We go in three seconds, pop those on, get those feet planted, weight is in the heels, weight's in the shoulder blades. We need the 45 second timer set. And let's begin, here we go. Squeeze and push, and down. And push it up, hold it for a second at the top, control it down. Right back up, so no dilly-dallying down there at the, at the ground. We are just 
popping down, and then we're squeezing right back up. <laughs> that is a, that's a wonderful word, dilly-dallying. It sounds better than like, hurry up, you need to go faster, or like, you know, it's like, don't dilly-dally, it sounds friendly. So, you know, less things need to get serious. And squeeze, good. Last one, down, squeeze. Okay, nice. We get to do that one more time. I'm enjoying the glute bridge right now. Also an exercise that is working your core. I don't, I feel like every exercise we've done so far, I'm like, oh, hey, there's your core again. <laughs> okay, three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. Hey, just to mention, strengthening your core will definitely help when you are in second position on the bike as well. So if that is something you're working on, especially to um, increase your speed or increase your resistance, if you have a, when your core starts to build up that strength, you'll be able to take off some of the weight from your hands on the handlebars. And so that'll give you more power in the lower body to push. Just a side note, if you're, if you're wondering. And squeeze, good. So there is a method to my madness when we, <laughs> when we are sweating and when, when we are, we're not just here for the burn. We're actually trying to put everything together to be stronger all the way around. Good, last one. All right, hitting the abs again this time. We're gonna do a Russian twist, but we're gonna keep our feet on the ground. So it'll be uh, heels down the ground. We're gonna twist. So to modify, you're gonna just sit it up a little bit farther, but to really intensify it, take it back, tapping that heel. I like to think about keeping that uh, elbow in line with my spine if it were right back here. So let's begin, here we go, 45 seconds. Really get that twist. Keep it nice and low if you can, or if you need to sit it up, just really work on that twist. Good. And you wanna think about keeping your head pretty neutral here, so you don't need to move your head along with you. Just keep everything straight. Shoulders are rotating. Good. What are we at for time? I'm moving my head to check the time. Okay. As I tell you, don't move your neck around. <laughs> and I'm over here going to town, checking the timer. Five seconds now. Three, two, and one. Nice, 20 seconds we rest. Let me just say, what do we got going on? Okay, after, so we have one more set of Russian twist. Last time that we're really gonna target the abs. So make this last set count. Then we have two exercises left to work the lower body. So that's what you got to look forward to. Back to Russian twist. Here we go, 45 seconds. Again, with this one, take it nice and slow. Really get that twist. You can hold it for a second here and then twist again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Exhale with the twist. Stella is looking rather comfy right now. Oh yeah. Sometimes I do look over at her like, Dang, must be nice to just be that cute, just hanging out, doing your thing. Okay, we've got eight seconds. Two. Okay, two and one. I was trying to count it in my head, but I was, <laughs> I was totally ahead of the game. All right, we're gonna bring it up because we are gonna do sumo squats. So bring it on up. Ooh. Two dumbbells, either right here at your hip, thigh area, or one dumbbell right in the middle. It's totally up to, to you, whatever works best for you. But we've gotta go, 45 seconds, and let's begin. Down. Squeeze, weight is in the heel, push your, push that floor away. Squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward just a smidge at the top. And down, good. The exhale comes right here as you lift up. And I will tell you, if you did the kettlebell workout last week, my legs, we're sore from that little thing for like four days. Because you know, we haven't used kettlebells in a while. So it was, um, it was a nice treat. I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed it. 
So I'm excited to be doing the sumo squat and not be like, ah, you know, with that kind of a, an expression. So 15 seconds. I'm just gonna hang out here because it would take more energy at this point. <laughs> Set my dumbbell down. I think my hair is saying a lot for this workout right now. It is just all over the place. Three seconds, we gotta go again. Now it's in my mouth, so, okay. 45 seconds, here it is. Down and squeeze. And push, good. So yeah, if you are coming to the cycling workout next, we are a little heavy on the sprints today, but it's all in good fun. <laughs> so you can scream at me if you need to during the ride. It's gonna be totally acceptable. Nothing wrong with that, but it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Again, all for fun. Eight seconds, last time, last few sets here. And then we've just gotta fi uh, finish out with our curtsy lunge down oh, and squeeze. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna set this big hunking thing down. All right, so we are going to do a curtsy lunge. You can have dumbbells just like this, alternating sides. If lunges are not your thing, we wanna work on targeting the outer thigh. So you're gonna lift and lift. So that's gonna be your move. You can use dumbbells if you're modifying. Grab your weights and let's get right into this because this is it. Two sets, we're done. Here we go. 45 seconds, chest is up. Good. Shoulders rolled down and back away from your ears as well. So upper body nice and relaxed. Good. Almost halfway. Well over halfway now. We're talking about 15 seconds left for this one. Good. And up. And let's do one more each side. I know the timer's probably gonna run out, but we'll do one more each side. We'll get our short recovery. Then we go into that one last time. I'm just gonna try to do something about this right now. All over. All right. Last time. Grab your dumbbells. Last 45 seconds. Then you'll have just enough time to get a little refresher in, some hydration, and let's begin. 45 seconds down and up. Good. Come on, keep it strong. I know the legs are getting a little shaky now because we have been working a lot for the lower body, but cycling won't be quite as heavy. I mean, it's still gonna be heavy, but we're gonna have more sprint so you know we're evening things out <laughs> between cycling and strength today good chest is up almost there almost there 10 seconds one more each side okay and boom bomb.com that is you we have made it to the end we are heading over to the cycling channel so if you're coming for a cycling ride I will meet you over there. We are gonna kick some butt today. Thank you for joining me. If this is your last workout, don't forget to get a stretch. And you know, I love ya.